Today's EM and 5 will be on Wellen syndrome. So let's start off with the case. You have a 62-year-old male coming in by EMS. He does have a history of some coronary artery disease, and he has new onset left-sided chest pain about 8 out of 10, some nausea and diaphoresis. This is the EMS report that you get prior to his arrival. You know that he was given some sublingual nitro and aspirin en route. And by the time he actually gets to the ER, he's no longer having chest pain. So you get him undressed and start getting an EKG, and this is the first one that you see on arrival. We don't see any ST elevations or depressions. We do have some flipped T waves, um, and his troponin comes back less than 0.01. So it does sound like angina. The next question now is, should we stress him? Should we be worried? So this patient has Wellen syndrome. The criteria for Wellen syndrome is a recent history of chest pain, now chest pain free, cardiac enzymes have to be negative, so no troponin leak, and the EKG shows symmetric deep T wave inversions or biphasic T waves in the precordial leads, and those findings are actually during the periods where they're chest pain free. The other criteria in the EKG is that you can't see any Q waves and no ST elevations. So let's look again at his EKG on arrival. And you see that he does have these very deep T wave inversions here in V3, V4, the precordial leads, and also biphasic T waves in V5 and V6. And again, this is during a chest pain free period. He has negative troponin and no ST elevations. So what's the significance of this? It's associated with LED stenosis. These patients, you definitely have to admit, have a lower threshold for early cath lab. Call interventional cardiology to have them assess this patient. And last of all, you do not want to stress these patients. You can actually cause further infarct or damage. So three to remember for Wellen syndrome, it's recently resolved chest pain, so chest pain free on arrival. You see those deep T wave inversions or biphasic T waves in the precordial leads, and it's associated with LED stenosis. So you don't want to stress them. You need to go to the cath lab. Call cardiology. Here are the references, and thanks again for joining us on EM in 5.